Hello, and welcome to an introduction to Snap Circuits tutorial. Snap Circuits are a quick and easy way to learn the basics of electricity while building awesome projects. In this tutorial, we'll cover the different Snap Circuits components, how they work, the do's and don'ts of Snap Circuits, and then you yourself will build your first Snap Circuits project. Let's get started. For this activity, you need the following components. First, a blue three snap wire. All wires are labeled in blue. They just transfer electricity from one point to another. Make sure yours has three snaps. Next, you need a green sliding switch. All switches are labeled in green. This sliding switch slides to the right for on and the left for off. When building a circuit, it's always important to have a switch so you can turn it on and off. Next, you need a light bulb. The light bulbs are these clear components. My light bulb is labeled 3V2A. Finally, you need a battery holder. Battery holders are what supply electricity to your snap circuit. The battery holder requires two AA batteries. Some tips and tricks for using snap circuits. First, whenever building a circuit, make sure you always have a switch and you always have a load component. Switches will allow you to turn the circuit on and off, and a load component, such as a light, motor, or speaker, will use excess electricity. Next, always disconnect your batteries while building. If I were to connect this battery holder to the grid, it works just fine without the batteries for now. The last step of my circuit, I'll put my batteries in. Next, always make sure you double check your wiring before inserting your batteries. If you did something incorrectly, it's much better to find out earlier than after you have your batteries in. It's not necessarily dangerous, but you might damage the snap circuit components. Never leave a circuit unattended. When the batteries are installed, never walk away. Always make sure you're nearby in case you need to unplug something. And finally, Never create a short circuit. A short circuit is a connection from one end of the battery terminal to the other end of the battery terminal without going through a load. For instance, taking this blue wire and connecting it like so is a short circuit. Don't ever do this. This will send electricity from here to here with nowhere else for it to go and will quickly burn out your batteries. Similarly, I had a longer wire like this. This is also an example of a short circuit and something you should never ever do. Notice how electricity will travel from the battery through wires back to the battery. No electricity is being used so this will warm up the batteries and burn them out. Now it is time to create your first circuit. Your first circuit is going to look something like this. You're going to have a battery, a light bulb, a wire, and a switch. The electricity will leave the battery, flow through the light, flow down the wire, and flow down the wire, and flow through the switch. I like to put my wiring diagrams underneath my snap circuit's grid while building. It helps me keep track of components. As you can see, I've already installed my battery component by snapping it to the grid. Next, I'm going to install my wire. I'll take my wire and snap it to the grid like so. You should hear an audible click. Now I can install my light in my switch. Finally, the switch. Double checking my wiring, I have my battery, light, wire, and switch. My switch is in the off position. The last step in your circuit is to insert your batteries. Make sure the negative end of the battery matches up to the spring. Take a moment to build this circuit yourself. 
when you think you've built it correctly, flip on the switch. You should see your circuit come to life. 